Okay, here is a four card production. Um, this is one I saw from Babel over in France, and um, I don't know what he calls it, but this is my handling for it, okay? So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna have the spectator um, just say stop as I go ahead and cut packets. Let's say they say stop right there. So from the position that they stopped at, we've got a four, a two, a queen, and an ace. Now, if I were to ask you to start a poker hand with one of those four cards, which card would you select? The ace of clubs? I would also select the ace of clubs. Now, there's some people that might pick the queen of hearts, but let's take a look at the ace, and let me show you why the ace is the best one, not just because it's the highest in value. But look, if we put the ace in with the other cards, and I push the down button, the ace of clubs goes from face up immediately to face down. If we push the up button, it goes from face down back to face up which is a pretty cool thing. Here's the best part though. If you push them through the back of the hand, all the cards then change into the aces, okay? That's the production from um, Babel over in France. Now, once you've got the aces out there, it's nice if you can do a trick with them. So let's do one um, that's a variation of Brother John Hammond's Your Signed card. So I'm gonna put the aces over here off to the side and then I'm gonna have you select a card. So as I riffle down, just say stop. The spectator's gonna say stop, wherever they would like. And then if you would, go ahead and pick up that pen and uncap it, and it would be great if you had like a Sharpie. And here you've got the four of clubs. I'm gonna have you go ahead and sign your name across the four of clubs. So they're gonna write their name on the four. You're gonna take it back, make sure that it's dried up, and we're gonna put the signed card over here with the aces. Now I'm gonna take a mystery card, and I'm gonna place it over here on the side of the mat. This is my mystery card, all right? We're gonna now lose your signed card down into the middle of the aces. We've got the black aces on top, trapping your card between the red aces on the bottom. Now watch, one, two, three. And instantly, now we've got the ace of clubs, the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, and the ace of diamonds. Your signed card is now vanished from between the aces. And now the mystery card, which we placed over here on the table, is actually your signed four of clubs. Um, and obviously they could have signed the card. Um, so this is called Some Prediction from Dan Fleshman. It's his version of Brother John Hammond's Your Signed Card. Um, it's not, it's a good handling. It's, it's not the best I've ever seen, but it's different than from a lot of the other um, effects I've seen of this style because you don't have the switch of the card uh, right at that critical moment, right before you reveal it. It's obviously done much sooner, um, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, so just spreading ideas, guys. Hope you like something. Till next time, take care.